Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. In this video, I'll talk about how to implement uh, a button toolbar with Streamlit. You know, by default, Streamlit doesn't allow to align multiple buttons on the same line. Yes, you could do this with Streamlit Grid, but buttons will be placed uh, far apart from each other and they'll be not rendered nice when screens will be screen will be resized, for example. But often you need to have multiple buttons on the same line, like create, uh, delete, save, right? And in this in this video, I'll explain how you could do this with your own Streamlit component and with um, Flowbyte UI components library for nice visual, visual implementation. So let's jump into my screen. Uh, first of all, this is the GitHub repo and I'll put URL below the video, which points to Sparrow, our open source product, which is in development uh, related to data extraction. And uh, this Streamlit uh, toolbar component idea came up when building um, data entry functionality for this product. And this was the reason why I decided to implement it and uh, post it uh, online, open source it and explain to you how, how you could implement uh, your own or integrated this kind of toolbar in your own projects. So toolbar was component was inspired by uh, this uh, by another Streamlit component which is called Streamlit toggle buttons component. Uh, the idea of this uh, uh, component is simple. <clears throat> it, uh, it's it shows how you could implement light uh, Streamlit component without. Uh, dependency on React or on any other GS framework. So what you do uh, here, uh, what, what is implemented in this component is uh, is basically a single index HTML file uh, with plain HTML plus additional JavaScript code, which um, helps to uh, listen for the events that are sent from Streamlit and also push events back to Streamlit as a response. Then this uh, um, <clears throat> Python package configuration is being implemented with Streamlit uh, custom component API, and this custom component component is being used in your own um, Python code in your own implementation. So basically, based on this um, example, I implemented my own um, uh, tool, toolbar component with multiple buttons, and this is how it looks like. So uh, this is the toolbar. Uh, it renders create, delete, save buttons. Uh, obviously, you can uh, add your own buttons, remove uh, existing buttons. You can also pass <coughs> different properties uh, for each of the buttons. For example, sometimes maybe you want to keep button disabled based on a certain condition and so on. So all the source code is available under Sparrow directory and you should uh, look into the uh, Sparrow UI and then uh, you'll find um, under a uh, certain folder that I'll show in a few moments in the code, you'll find actual implementation for this uh, toolbar and you could reuse it on your own. And the way it works, uh, so you, uh, you can click on create button, we get back uh, action create, and then based on that you can do um, certain logic in the side stream application, like create new row in this grid, for example. Then you can click create again, again, uh, as many times as you want, you can click delete, then you'll get delete event information, then you can click save, so you, you could get uh, information about the button which is being um, pressed right now, and then based on that information, you could uh, do uh, custom logic inside Streamlit uh, Python application. And the idea is uh, that of Streamlit components, it's very useful because uh, actually Streamlit component is wrapped uh, index page in, in the uh, HTML page, sorry. And inside this HTML page, you can use any UI technologies, uh, HTML, JavaScript, combine all of this together to implement your own component. In this case, I'm using Flowbyte uh, UI components li library, which is based on a Tailwind and um, it helps to build nice UI without coding your own CSS and so on. And then when, <clears throat> when this uh, HTML piece of code is rendered, it's rendered in Streamlit, wrapped into uh, iframe, and uh, through Streamlit uh, Custom Components API, uh, you can communicate uh, with HTML running in that iframe with uh, properly allocated uh, height and width. You can communicate sent events and received events back. 
uh, in your Python streaming environment on the server side. So this means this HTML component would run on the client side, the client would interact with that UI component, uh, send events, get events, and th those events will be uh, communicated to the server process on the server side in Python. Okay, so let's uh, briefly look into the implementation. So uh, as I mentioned already, you should look into the Sparrow UI. Uh, by the way, I plan to uh, extract this uh, toolbar component into a separate project and post it on the GitHub so that it would be easier to reuse uh, in your own work. Uh, so without any, without having any dependencies on Sparrow UI. I'll do this in the next couple of days, I think, and I'll, I'll post update on Twitter. So uh, there is a function which is called run component, handle event, and then we call handle event. Uh, and we pass run component. Inside run component, we reference our custom toolbar component and we pass properties. And you can have your own set of properties. This is just example, because in my case, it's enough to uh, pass property, which would decide if button is disabled or not. If So we, we just say that create false, delete false, say false. This means uh, all those buttons are not disabled. And so they're active actually. You can add your own properties like a label. If you want to pass custom labels for the button, maybe uh, you want to pass some other other options, uh, other property which would tell if button is displayed or not displayed based on certain conditions. So it's up to you. So this is the Streamlit custom component code which helps to use the component and invoke it. And later when you click on the button, then we get back a response and a handle event method is invoked and over here we get information which button was invoked. Uh, on top over here we uh, include from toolbar, we import our component toolbar buttons. So this is uh, our component and it's coming from from this directory from toolbar, so it's over here from this folder. So uh, this simple component is not packaged as a standalone a uh, streamlit component which you could um, install from pip for example but because it's quite simple component i decided to, to keep th things simple and just keep it uh, as part of my main source uh, uh, source code base and if you want to use it or use it on your own projects then you could just copy the the same structure into your own project clone it and and, and use it and as i mentioned already for easier usability uh, this uh, button toolbar component will be published soon on the GitHub as a separate repo, so it will be easier to clone it for you. All right, so we have uh, init uh, script over here, and we are using uh, Streamlit Components uh, API. We define name and path uh, for our Streamlit component over here, and this allows to import the component into the main script and use it as uh, through the Python API. Right, and actual implementation inside of the component is inside index.html. So in the head, uh, this is plain HTML uh, file where we refer over here to the flow byte CSS. And then in body, we have uh, div with three, with, uh, three buttons. Uh, if you have a requirement to have dynamic set of buttons, you could do this as well. You could pass information about uh, which buttons you want to render. And through the JavaScript below, you could uh, render HTML dynamically and, and this way you could have multiple buttons rendered dynamically. So all these uh, uh, CSS classes over here are being copied from the flow byte. If you go to the uh, flow byte uh, page, uh, you go to documentation there and they have extensive list uh, that describes all the UI components and one of them is um, uh, button, uh, it's, it's being called uh, uh, toolbar, uh, button toolbar, or yeah, actually it was it maybe some uh, different name, but anyway, you, you get it. So this one for single button, and the, this another one, another example for um, for the group of buttons. And I just copy pasted this example over here, changed a little bit. Uh, I added my own icons, and uh, here we go. It, it uh, renders uh, out of the box without me playing with any custom CSS. I can just reuse CSS uh, directly from the flow byte component. And then, then I specified ID for each of the buttons and I specify on click method. And I'm referring um, 
my own JavaScript function, which is called uh, call, and I'm passing instance of the button. Then uh, I have a function that I took from the uh, from another repo that I was showing a few moments ago, which inspired me to implement this uh, component a repo where uh, uh, multiple buttons were implemented to uh, handle toggle event uh, toggle uh, functionality. So I get send message over here, uh, which helps to send uh, message from the client to the Streamlit backend. Initialize, uh, so the, mm, no change for those methods. Then uh, another one that uh, sets the height for the inline frame so that the um, dimensions um, um, for the streaming component are set uh, in proper way so that we don't occupy any extra space on the main page. And this is our function call, so we get information about uh, button ID, which was uh, uh, pressed right now, and we send notification to host. So in this way, uh, Streamlit backend will understand which buttons was which button was pressed by reading the ID. And then there is another method initialize props handler. So over here we parse uh, properties that were specified from Streamlit and sent from Streamlit to our HTML component. And uh, we get element by ID and set, for example, for disabled property to true or false based on the mapping, properties mapping as, as it was specified uh, for the component from Streamlit. Yeah, and yeah, this is how it works. And then we get this nice UI component and we can have multiple buttons rendered on the same line. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. And hopefully this uh, quick explanation um, will inspire you to implement similar toolbars in your own projects with Streamlit and uh, improve uh, user experience uh, when you would display multiple buttons on the same line uh, to enable create, read, update, delete functionality or uh, any other kind of functionality. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.